Iowa truck stop. The world's largest truck stop. Party, it's yeah. the Waffle House. Uh -huh. If you ever been here, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. Uh -huh. Where people don't dance, all they do is yeah. this. Uh -huh. And after the this original, you know remix. what it is. Welcome to this remix, it had to go down. I got something else to tell you about the new Motown. Oh, Where people don't visit, they move out here. And they don't tell you. What's going on, everybody? Lockout men in the building. Welcome back to another episode of Lockout Men's Travels. Thank you, thank you. Issues about safety out here, man. I am here at the TA or at the Iowa 80 truck stop, the world's largest truck stop. This truck stop is well known, well lit, and maybe secured initiative that we as truck drivers that's coming together that's trying to do this, get the word out about safety to all the truck drivers in the community. A lot of us truck drivers in a lot of different Zello groups, a lot of different Facebook groups is coming together to, I guess, get the word out. We about to go and talk about truck driver safety. Basically what I'm about to do, I'm about to talk to you guys right quick. I'm about to talk to you guys today about the, uh, the, the safety situations out here for females you know I talk to a lot of drivers world's largest trust stop right so here's a couple of do's and don'ts all right so for females check this out this is for you all right and maybe some some guys but mainly females this is for you don't play the I am a woman card don't ask for special treatment don't feel the need to prove yourself. Don't smile too much. Just smile just enough. Not a lot that could get a guy interested in having thoughts in his head going in another direction. Just enough to show that, hey, how you doing? Don't stop for anyone or anything when you are at a truck stop. Don't spend too much time in the, I mean, in unlit areas late at night. Only walk in well-lit areas. Don't walk between trucks in a parking lot where not as many people can see you. Don't tell anyone that you're in a truck by yourself. Don't reveal which truck is yours when talking on the CB. Now, let's talk about CBs for a minute. Yeah, I see. I, I know y'all see that uh, big Pac-Man game in the background. You know what I'm saying? But it's not about the Pac-Man right now. It's about uh, it's about the CB talk that I'm about to break down. Now, I'm one of those drivers that that came out and said that no, I don't need a CB. What do I need a CB for? I have a cell phone. Old school driver came up to me and say, son. And he was older than me. I'm I'm like close to 50, and you know he can't. He's like in his 70s, so he came up to me. He said, "Son, let me uh, tell you something about those CBs, right quick." He said, "What if what if your cell phone goes out?" You know, I said, "Look, man, I'm, I'm just gonna drive this boy down to an area so I can get service back. If you broke down, how you gonna drive at all, son? I, I guess I'm just gonna have to get out. How often do you think?" people gonna pull over to, to help a truck driver, not often. Back in the day, truck drivers used to help truck drivers. Even if they're off on the side of the road, they will pull over, hop out, and see what's up with that driver. That's driver unit. I said, we don't have that now. He said, things change. But the old school ways never change. And that's having a CB in your truck. Once he told me that, I, I went and got one. But let me tell you how important to have a CB in your truck though. It's important to have one because in case you are broke down and you don't have no sales service, of course you're gonna need that CB to call another driver to at least let them know that, hey, I'm broke down at mile marker such and such. And that truck driver could you know, get the call out to 
a state trooper or or maybe call a roadside assistance for you. That's the importance of having a CB. That's the importance of getting one. That's the importance of having one in your truck. I respect old school for that. Don't share too much about yourself or your location when talking to others. Don't be quick to trust anyone. Don't listen to negative people who get you down. Know that you can do your job and surround yourself with positive people. Don't let the tough stuff get under your skin. Let it bounce right off of you. Don't be afraid to ask someone to help you back into a space you are unsure of. Don't be afraid or ashamed to ask for help with anything. Let me reiterate on the backing up part. There's a lot of drivers, and I do mean a lot of drivers out here that just love taking pictures and video recording other drivers' struggles instead of just getting out of the truck and helping the driver out. Hey, bro, do you need a hand? Do you need uh, someone to spot you? Do you need help? And they, they don't do that. They don't do that at all. They just sit in a truck and just break out the phone right here and record shit and get it up on YouTube, on Facebook and just be like, everybody needs help every once in a while. I mean, hell, I had a hand when I was blindside back in at the uh, last shipper I was at. That driver was freaking awesome. So now that I got the don'ts out of the way, here's some do's. Here's some do's. Let me let me break that down for you right quick. Do ask questions. Ask a lot of questions, especially if you're a new driver and you with your trainer. Ask a lot of questions. Do the best that you can. You you can only do the best that you can. You can that's all you can do. Nobody can't ask for much but only your best. And if you can give it your best, and that best is what you can give, then damn it, man, give it your best. You have a call list of people you know and trust on the road. Definitely, that's just not for women, but for men too. Have a, have a list of dudes or females that you cool with, trucker friends that you cool with. Make sure you have your family calls, your friends calls, let them know or give them an idea on where you at or where you're gonna be at. Do remember this is the real world and not a game. Your decision will affect others. Yes, that's, that's a good do. Do identify safe truck stops and stay at Love, TA, Petro, Flying J, Pilots. Definitely identify the major truck stops if you wanna feel comfortable in staying at that truck stop. If you're over the road and you're running out of hours and you know, then with that said, uh, just be aware of the area that you're in. Do avoid being seen at truck stops late at night. A lot of females, this, this is for you. A lot of females that I had talked to, they don't get out their trust at night. Do pay attention to your surroundings and constantly look around. Definitely keep your freaking head on a swivel. Keep your head always moving. You know, you when you're walking through a truck stop late at night, you gotta have eyes in the back of your head. Do keep your curtain and doors closed. If someone knocks, don't answer. I really don't have to go into detail about that, do I? Do ratchet strap your doors together in unsafe areas when you are in the truck. A couple of females that I know personally does that. Do bring a dog with you if you can for protection and companionship. The last female that I talked to, she had a dog in her truck. Do learn from men seriously and educate yourself until you know everything that a man knows. Do pay attention to your posture and how you walk. Hold your head up high, straight up, and walk quickly. Do lift weights to increase your strength in order to do things yourself. Do become self-sufficient. Do look out for each other. One thing that we don't do, and that's why this initiative is in effect. 
we have to look out for one another. We gotta make sure that our brothers and sisters out here in this trucking game is all right. Do always be aware of your surroundings. Do call ahead to shippers and receivers to see if they have a safe place for you to park. A lot of shippers out here and a lot of receivers out here don't even want you parking on their on their parking lot. I mean on their property. They want you to get in, get unloaded, and get out. Do realize that there are some men who are mean to both men and women. There are assholes out here. Do enjoy the downtime with your family. So whenever you get a chance to get out of the truck and get with your family, enjoy it. Do remember that your family is making sacrifices which is they don't get the chance to see you every day you know you're only coming off the road after doing maybe two or three months and you're only at home for like two or three days you got to understand your family is sharing that that sacrifice with you do be confident do double lock your doors by using seat belts stretching it out as far as you can looping it through the handle and latching it do park as close as you can to the door of the facility that you are stopped at. Do have a good sense of humor. Do a response prepared for male truck drivers who, traveling, who challenge you. Do always have an emergency of a backup plan in case you are stuck in tough places. Do watch out for others on the road. Do stay calm and do double check everything. And there you have it. There are more tips. And if you guys have some tips that you want to come and share, or even share your experience, leave it in the comments below, all right? Let these drivers know that there's, there's things out here that we can do to make sure that we're safe out here, all right? Thanks everybody for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. If you guys have any tips or anything like that, or any experience that you guys have as far as safety goes, leave it in the comments below, man. Holler at your boy about whatever whatever you feel that's, that's important to you as far as safety goes for us truck drivers. And yo, thanks to all my subscribers for rocking out with me. Thanks to all my new subscribers for coming in with me. I really do appreciate that. And thanks to my coffee supporters. Yo, if you want to help me buy coffee for other drivers out here in appreciation to what they're doing, yo, the link is in the comments and it's in the description below. Holler at your boy. This is Lockout Man. Yo, I'll come back to you again in another video. That's it. I'm done. Peace. Hip. I'm a lunatic with too much grip to let her slip. I'm so St. Louis, ask my 